the ultimate glue test. Brought to you by students of the Chicago School of Violin Making. How thick should you mix your hide glue? There's no clear answer. Depends on the task. Sometimes you want the glue to be stronger than the wood. Sometimes you'd rather the joint break cleanly without destroying the wood. So here's a little test where we mix eight different thicknesses of glue, join eight pairs of wood, and break them. In this experiment, we'll test eight different mixtures. Most people judge how much water to add to the jar by a visual or volumetric ratio. We'll do this, but also track percentage glue by mass for the sake of repeatability. Each jar is teared and then gets 5 grams of hi dry hide glue crystals. The glue we're using in this test is 192 gram strength from Milligan and Higgins. Jar 1 will be the thickest. I add cold water until the water level reaches the top of the crystals. This is a 1 to 1 visual ratio, which weighs out on the scale to 39% glue by mass and 61% water. Jar 8 will be the thinnest. I add cold water until the water level reaches 3 times the level of the crystals. This 1 to 3 visual ratio weighs out to 11% glue by mass or 89% water. The rest of the jars get mixed to ratios in between. Join some pieces of wood together. These pieces of wood all came from one plank, so hopefully their grains are uniform enough that each piece has similar fluctuations in weakness. I thicknessed them and planed their jointing surfaces together side by side, leaving a hollow in the middle. Then I sawed them into our eight samples for jointing. For each pair, I slopped on some glue, put them on a glass, and drove a wedge down on one end to give some clamping force. The time elapsed between applying glue and clamping was about 10 seconds. The next day, I planed them to the same thickness and cut them to the same height, hopefully eliminating bias from unevenness. All the joints look good, no glue lines, no gaps. The final dimensions of these little pieces before we broke them was about... 12 millimeters thick, 140 millimeters wide, and 50 millimeters high. The brake test. We broke them in the vise with this jig. The jig had to be modified a few times because I didn't realize how much the wood would deform before breaking. Everyone played with each jar of glue to guess how each consistency would behave before we broke them. We'll take a quick look at each jar before we do the breaking test. Jar 8. 11% glue by mass, 1 to 3 visual ratio, 5 grams of glue, 45.5 grams of water. Everyone predicted a clean break, and they were right. Jar 7, 15% glue by mass, 5 grams of glue, 33.3 grams of water. Everyone predicted a clean break, and they were right. Jar 6, 19% glue by mass, 5 grams of glue, 26.3 grams of water. Most people predicted a clean break, and the result is clean break. Jar 5, 23% glue by mass, 5 grams of glue, 21.7 grams of water. Most predicted a partial break, and they were right. Jar 4. 27% glue by mass. 5 grams of glue, 18.5 grams of water. Some folks predicted this to pass, others thought it'd give a partial break. The result was partial break. Jar 3. 31% glue by mass. 5 grams of glue, 16.1 grams of water. Most predicted this to pass, but this one resulted in partial break on joint. Jar 2. 35% glue by mass. 5 grams of glue, 14.3 grams of water. Most people predicted a pass. They were right. This one broke way off the joint. Jar 1, 
This one is a one-to-one -one visual ratio. 39% glue by mass. 5 grams of glue, 12.7 grams of water. Most people predicted this would pass, though some thought it might fail because thick glue can gel up too soon. It passed. Though it did break very close to the joint, none of the flat jointing surface is visible in the break. Conclusions So that was the test. For our glue and in this gluing application, 35% and up gave us joints that were as strong as or stronger than the wood itself. Glues mixed at 23% to 31% gave us a partial break on the joint, and 19% and below gave weak joints that broke cleanly. Your results may vary depending on many factors. Your high glue might be different. Fresh glue and glue a few days old behave differently. Working time is a big factor. The list goes on. But take what you can from this and try it yourself with your own glue.